theoretically, a first time home buyer can buy a $675,000 home with just a 3% down payment. We can lock in an interest rate without having a contract or a property. We can just do what's called a lock and shop. Hello, everyone. It's team Meg G and Lauren Z. I'm Meg Garrido. We have, of course, Lauren Skutowitz. And we have a wizard of a predictor today. He is going to look into our future and what that means for the real estate market in mortgage lending and just in general, what we can anticipate in 2022. Right here, top five mortgage loan originator for the past seven years, Keith Spain with Bank South. Hello, everybody. Keith Spain with Bank South. All right. So Lauren's going to kick us off with our first question for you. Okay, Keith, so we just saw the headline recently um, about the new conforming loan limits. What does that mean and how does it impact both sellers and buyers? Well, so yes, we're, we're very excited. We've gone up to 647,000 for conventional loan limits. So we, we are hoping to really broaden our pool of conventional loans. Um, so, so last year saw one of the biggest movements to jumbos that the Atlanta market has ever seen. So we're hoping with the increase in conventional loan limits, we can get more conventional loans. To work so with. let me, let me interject here, explain to everybody what that actually means. Like, let's just break it down. What a conventional sure. loan means, what a jumbo loan means, and how that's valuable to a consumer. Sure. So a conventional loan means it's backed by Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac, which means our underwriting process is a little bit easier than it is with jumbo loans. J jumbo loans have some tougher requirements just because they're not insured by one of the agencies like Fannie or Freddie. And, and the bank is truly holding the jumbo loan on their books, which is a little bit more risk for the bank. So it's a little bit more stringent underwriting than with conventionals. And usually a little tick up in your rate. Is that correct? Yeah. Um, now, I guess the good news is the jumbo rates, there, there isn't as big of a spread as there was prior to, say, 2018. Um, jumbo okay. mortgage rates the spread between jumbos and conventionals has been shrinking for the past few years. So a little good news on that front. It's just that our underwriting process is a little more stringent with, with jumbos. Got it. The 647, that's the mm -hmm. loan amount, not the purchase price, correct? That's correct. That's correct. So, so, so as an example, in today's world, a first time home buyer can get a conventional loan with just a 3% down payment. So theoretically, a first-time home buyer can buy a six hundred and seventy-five thousand dollar home with just a three percent down payment. Wow! So, so we're hoping that really is going to open the door for some first-time home buyers that that had been a little bit shut out of some higher purchase prices because of their down payment. It's really exciting to see the fact that these conventional loan limits are now tracking with how we've seen such an explosive growth mm -hmm. in sales prices. I mean, because it was it was a little out of whack. And so now yeah. we're not having to say, come back later to our first time home buyers. There's a really nice opportunity for them now. Agreed. Agreed. Um, we're, we're pretty excited about it for next year, for sure. Yay. All the houses. Everyone buys <laughs> them. All right. So number two. What are your predictions for the spring 2022 market, Keith Spain? Mm. So are we talking about market trends or interest rates? We're talking about both. We're talking about both. Okay. Well, there there is certainly nothing on the horizon that suggests a slower market at the moment. So that, that is my answer to that question. Sure. Um, my sort of vague answer to the question. Uh, now, as far as mortgage rates go, we, we are anticipating an increase going into the spring. But, you know, I don't want to alarm anyone because when I say increase, we may go from 3% to 3.5% or, or somewhere in between. So I don't think it's anything that's going to preclude a buyer from buying. 
sure. Uh, for sure. But I guess just just to prepare everyone, we are anticipating some increases based on by the the actions of the Fed in the past couple of weeks. Okay. So I have a follow up question on that. So if we believe interest rates are going to tick up in the spring, at what point can our buyers lock in an interest rate with you? Do they have to be under contract? Do they have to have submitted an application? What does that mm. look like? So you can lock in a rate for up to 120 days out from your closing, which, which can be important if we're buying new construction. Um, now, the other good news is for a conventional loan, unfortunately not a jumbo, but on a conventional, we can lock in an interest rate without having a contract or a property. We can just do what's called a lock and shop. So again, based on the trends for rates, I, if you're even closing within the next 90 days, we are recommending a lock and shop program uh, for sure. Now to do that, we just need an application with the supporting documents, which are going to include pay stubs, bank statements, and W-2s. Okay. That's a really valuable product to be mm -hmm. able to offer to clients right now. And I know there's not a lot of lenders that are offering this. So huge leg up. Yeah. Yeah. We, we think it's going to be a tremendous help going into the next few months. Okay. So, Let me ask one other question. I'm going to time. I'm going to time stamp us. Today is December 15th. Uh oh. Okay. What are your current conventional loan rates today? Mm. So, so it, it's a little bit of factor of two things: of your down payment and credit scores. So the range right now is between three percent and three and a quarter. Again, depending on credit score, down payment, and that kind of thing. Amazing. Okay, just wanted to put that out there. Yeah. Lock and shop. Lock and shop. Let's do it. <laughs> yep. Okay. So question number three. How can our buyers best prepare for what we anticipate to be a very competitive, low inventory spring and mm -hmm. summer market? Well, the the number one thing is to get pre-approved um, and not just pre-qualified. You know, we we would prefer to get all our documents up front and really go through underwriting to get the loan fully approved. So, if need be, we can waive the financing contingency if we have a fully approved loan. Um, so we highly recommend that in today's world. So if if you need to not only waive the contingency, but if you need to close in 16 days, we certainly can do that if the loan is already approved. Um, so that that I think is the number one thing. Now, if if your buyer has to do the whole, we want to buy before selling the old house, which we, we have that a lot in today's world, then I highly recommend a bridge loan, um, which is great if the buyer has some pretty significant equity in the home that they plan to sell. Yeah, another great tool in our arsenal and a really great offering from Bank South and Keith Spain. So it's definitely one of those things that people are interested in doing right now because it's yeah. It's tricky to try and do it all at the same timing. Agreed. Agreed. Well, I think <clears throat> it. We're, we're just wanting to hit the high notes. It's the top three things you need to know about yeah. loans, rates, and what we can anticipate in 2022. So we thank you and appreciate all of your knowledge and expertise, mm. Keith Spain. Absolutely. Thanks, ladies. I appreciate you having me on. Thank, thank you. Bye-bye.